Hi everybody, Father Bill Holtzinger here, and this is your Friday Reflection. Great news, uh, we, I want to give you an update on our sound system. It has been installed, but I thought I'd give you a tour of what's going on a little bit anyway. So this may be getting, getting kind of geeky, but it's very important to us that you are able to hear what is being said. So just to start off, the we had new amplifiers put in, all the speakers have been changed out, and when we turned my battery pack on just to start you know, tuning my voice, etc. It was so loud. That's because it's a more powerful system. Things are, you know, just stay fresh and new. And so we had to tune me way down to make sure that it sounds good. So there's going to be some glitches. I know there will be. The gentleman that's involved in uh, the actual sound system, name is Russ. He'll be here on the weekend, on Sundays anyway, on Sunday, to just kind of fine-tune everything, just to make sure it's in good shape. That's kind of a needed thing, because you never know. Like, what sounds good right now may sound different when it's a full church. What I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you around the church and just kind of narrate things that I'm seeing, and I'll just talk to you about what's going on. By the time you get to the Mass uh, this weekend, this will be all gone. It'll be all cleaned up and everything. Uh, we had to move pews. We had to do all kinds of things. So without further ado, here we go. So we are in the narthex. You know this area. Yep. But we have a bunch of stuff going on over here. So we have boxes and uh, previous speakers. Here's some of the boxes. So here's exactly S10s, the brand RS, RCF. And I'm not familiar with this kind of stuff. This is, I'm used to more consumer level products, but uh, this is something that was intended to be used for the speakers above the glue lambs, and I'll show you those next. Let's move into the church. So here we are. There's Deacon Brett doing his thing. But if you look up, and it's hard to see, there they are. They used to be speakers that were painted the same color yeah. as, the, as the wood. In fact, these all replaced. These are brand new. So here's the former speakers here. They were painted. Never heard of this tenoy, but that's what was being used. And the other ones, these I think these were used. There's a subwoofer and more speakers. So these speakers were what we used before. We even replaced the speakers that were above the altar area where I'm sitting. And they're uh, right there. Heavy. I thought they were smaller than that, but they're not. These are pretty big. So as I move around again, you see, in fact, I'm gonna zoom in a bit. Maybe it'll help out. So there they are, this. The speakers, the cool thing about this, instead of coloring them or painting them the same color as the, the wood, now they are practically invisible. So if I go back out and you don't see them hardly. So they're here, and it sounds great from the back area. You can see there's more. There's three more up there as I walk around. Keep in mind where we are. We're in the uh, sanctuary, moving around to the choir side. And then we have what we call monitor speakers. These are for the choir. These have also been changed out. There's, there's Erica right there. Smile to everybody on, on YouTube. That's Russ. Thank you, Russ, for all your work. Appreciate it. Awesome. He's been, they've been here for, yeah, they've been here for quite some time. So we have all the speakers up here, but it's not just speakers, it's also amplifiers. So let's go down here. So here's some new amplifiers. There's a uh, line conditioner. This is something that allows us to keep and make sure that the power going in is in good shape. Uh, this part was not touched. This is our mixer that we've had for a while. But let's go back inside here and check things out from the back. Let's see what we can find back here. Okay, so here's... Here's some good stuff. So this is geeky, but new amplifiers here. I'll see the nice bright blue lights. But there's an item here. This here will do the timing of the speaker so they're not all firing at the same time because then it will be very difficult to hear. So moving on, moving on. By the way, these seats, the pews, they're all back in place, as you see. And there's Ding Brett. Hi, Ding Brett. Say hello, everybody. Oh, hello, everybody. What is that you've got in your hands? Scissors and wrenches. Scissors and wrenches, but there's orange things. Father What's... Bill just makes me slave away and slave away. It's just like, you know what? There are no boundaries in this place. I just love no, I... it. <laughs> so these orange things, actually, these were uh, put on the bolts where the pews used to be. So we removed oh, lose them. Track of where that was, Father Bill. Uh oh, okay. Sorry. Don't want to do that. Don't lose track. Okay. 
So the being place where the, the bolts used to be, so he's putting them in there so that we can uh, bolt them back down. You can see here, for example, you may have not noticed, but here's where the bolts go. Here's one, for example, right there. They go into the concrete, but when we've moved all these pews, these pews got all moved, and I'll show you some photos and another video. Then we were walking around there, there's cherry pickers in here. You gotta be very careful because you could trip on the bolts and that would be a, let's just say it wouldn't be a good day for you. That would be a bummer. Because you would go boom and that would, you'd fall and just, you know, that's how it, that's how it is. And we're oh, no. quite busy oh, no. here. Oh, no. We have Michelle here. Remember last week we had Michelle? Michelle, they can't hear you, but I'm talking on the things, but we have something new. Can you, uh, I'm gonna get a little closer to you so you can, we can hear what you're doing here. here. So yeah, right up here we have something going on. What is this thing? Oh, this is a blackout shade so that the projector uh, that's on the wall can be more effective. Excellent. So our school mass is something we talked about. There's that's a window here, so I'll peek behind her. See how bright that is? Very bright. And guess what it does to the wall? It makes it very bright. But then when we want the projector to be shown or even used, it becomes difficult to see. So I'm going to back up so you can get a sense of what we're looking at. Yeah, so it's just on the left side of the sanctuary. So then we can put stuff up here and you can still see it. So thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Eric, for all your work as well. He's the quiet person behind the scenes. That's right. So above us, now here's something interesting. Do I sound like I'm excited? I'm excited. Above here were some speakers. And we need to kind of clean some of this up, but the, the speakers now that were up here, the speakers that were up here uh, were not working well at all, if at all. And so now there's on two sides each, there's two, we'll call them, uh, let's say they look at more vertical type thin speakers, but they are very loud. Let me ask, hey Russ. Okay, so what kind of those again? Can you just, what are the name of those speakers up there? Uh, they're an RCF column array. A column array, okay. Yeah, very acoustic a series. Um, there are six four inch drivers, I believe, in those, mm -hmm. with uh, four one inch dome tweeters in each one. There's four total speakers up there. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. Kind of did a rod copy shop, Sun Valley, Idaho. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not sponsoring them. That's all good, though. So we have, again, I showed you the speakers here. If you were, Used to sitting in the back section here, right back here. The glue lamps are here. Speakers are in the same exact places as they used to be, but they are much more powerful and more full range. And so I would beg your patience as we again go through some fine tuning over the weekend. And I'm looking over here, I'm coming around. Pardon, I'm just using my little tripod if it's kind of bouncing around here and my iPhone. So let's see here, I'm gonna zoom in here. So again, there's the speakers, that's what one looks like. But there are three of them again. So people that are sitting in the back have always actually had some decent sound. However, the people that were sitting over here in the front where you'd think it'd be the best, were getting very little, unless we were talking loudly. So now I'm sitting, let's say, in this pew, that speaker up there is pointing right down in this area, as that one is pointing down to this area here. Pretty awesome, huh? Yeah. So I'm looking forward to this. I hope that, that uh, you will find this to be a big upgrade. There is still one more thing I think we're gonna be doing to make sure that the folks in the centers here can get very clear sound, and that is to put on the glue lambs here a speaker and another speaker over here. They'll be black, eventually it'll just be invisible to you because we won't see them but we want quality sound most importantly okay that's the scoop so folks that's what's happening here this is our upgrade that we've done uh, we are like 95 percent done with it except for there's that part of tuning things in like you look at this we have a there's a computer here that's been trying to get, they've been using this to uh, fine-tune all the spots we still have an ipad that we use to fine tune in the middle of the service so we make sure that things sound good. So please be patient with us as we work this stuff out. Anyway, I'll see you this weekend. God bless you. Bye-bye.